Okay, so now we're going to use the product property of logarithms. Um, it says use the product property of logarithms to write each logarithm as a sum of logarithms. Simplify if possible. Now when it says to simplify, we're going to have to look for that. Um, again, I've typed these the way the book has them. I would put parentheses around the, the argument there. That's what I would do. Okay, so we've got that multiplication there, 3 times x. So right in here, there's the multiplication, and we're going to split that up. So you're going to have log base 3 of 3 plus log base 3 of x. Okay, so you're going to pull apart the multiplication and make it addition. Now to simplify, this we can use a property for. That was property 2, if I'm remembering right. And that just equals 1. And that would be simplified. You can't do anything with the other logarithm because we don't know what x is. Okay. So now on the next one, it says, you know, use the product property. This time we've got three things that are being multiplied, three factors. So I'm going to have log base 2 of 8 plus log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of y. Okay, so you split up each of those factors, and they become their own argument um, individually, and then you're adding those logarithms together. Now, what about simplifying? Well, you have to think of 8 as a power of 2. So if I think of 8 as 2 to the third power, so 8 is 2 to the third power. This is like you've got to remember that kind of thing. Okay, and then you have the other ones. They're not going to simplify. They're pretty simple in the terms of logarithms. But now we have a property. It's property 4. That one I said would get used a lot. Um, that is just going to equal 3. And so that one's done. Okay, so you kind of pulled it all apart. All right, that's how you use the product property of logarithms.